Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, 05 Feb. Crazy day yesterday. I mean, uh, S&P's 70, 70 handles in a straight line. Check this hourly bar. All these hourlies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 16 straight hours of up. 33.05, the high, uh, which if you'll recall, when we broke 33, the figure, we did we did tickle 05. Um, this bar here, the high on this bar here, 05 and a quarter was the high. Um, after breaking the figure the first time, so it was an interesting chart point. Stop there. Now we're back at 90, but still the damage has been done on the top side. It's uh, hard to ignore this bar, even though we feel um, like you need to be short. Very, very difficult after a bar like that yesterday. Uh, so we have some very tepid shorts um, here. Dollar yen, same thing. Really just a crazy town day. Again, 16 straight hours of up. 55 the high. Um, kind of stopped where it should have stopped, I guess. 50 should have been the high, but 55 did trade. Here we are at 42. But again, like hard to disregard this bar. Looking for consolidation today. Next resistance is... Uh, 109.70. We remember this level well from January. We were break trading through the top side and through the downside um, with some success. We will be looking to get short dollar yen up in that area. Uh, we don't believe this risk rally is real. Obviously, a lot of this had to do with, uh, I wouldn't say a lot of it had to do with, but the the Tesla chart is pretty endemic to uh, what the hell is going on. Uh, Tesla traded almost up to 1,970, opened and closed at the same level, 884. Um, this kind of insanity kind of infects the market. This was the talk of the town yesterday. Everyone, no one cared about anything else but Tesla. I must have had 55 different conversations with people, um, many of them who are not stock traders, uh, who were talking about Tesla. So we're just keeping an eye on this as a risk barometer. This is not WeWork. Obviously, Elon Musk is different from uh, the Muppet who was running WeWork. Um, but this is also not worth a thousand bucks, so it's not worth 140 billion in market cap. This is patent insanity. Um, reminds me of Volkswagen when Volkswagen went to a thousand. People are just getting caught short. Their structures, you know, people people are short this in an emotional way, just like people are long this in an emotional way. It's an emotional stock, and emotional stocks do emotional things. So, as we said yesterday, um, we'll just sell this because somewhere over a thousand, maybe twelve hundred, um, and that sounds crazy, right? That's up another thirty-five percent from here. But we don't really, we don't really care about Tesla one way or the other. Um, they have a nice product. We like electric cars, uh, but the finances here do not make sense. But that just. We're watching this as a risk barometer. I, I digress. Um, we got Euro PMIs today, the final PMIs. Uh, this will be interesting on the services side. Uh, if there's any kind of change, I think um, the top side is more at risk. We only start really um, getting worried about the downside with prices down through 20. And then really, it gets very interesting below 109.80. But we, we we see a base building here in euro, and this is a bit of a sideways action here. So we like to scoop euros on the lows here. 
sterling yesterday it did what we asked it to do in the beginning it went from 20 down to 42 um, but then squeezed mercilessly back higher which was annoying services PMI today we will event trade this um, sterling yen will be our horse this chart looks like she wants to get through this 14090 area let's keep in mind it's 160 points away it's over a percent away so it's not for today but um, we have this chart in our head and the negative PMI today we will event um, we'll do an event trade in the sterling today at 1030 dollar yen we talked about big big powerful bar um, we'll be fading this up near 70 what else is out there let's look at these bonds big big turning days not sure what to do with that I'm still risk off um, I still think global growth is going to really suffer from this virus uh, anecdotally I was talking to a friend yesterday who I hadn't spoken to in years uh, he lives in Shanghai but he called me from Madrid he and his family um, he married a local gal uh, from Shanghai he and his family were in Madrid and I said, dude, what are you doing? Are you there for business? He's like, no, no, we're, we're, we're fleeing from the virus. Uh, I think this is a lot more serious than people are giving it credit for, and I think this is going to negatively affect GDP um, very seriously at a time when I don't think GDP uh, has the resilience to deal with this kind of thing. So this is where I stand on, on, on all of this. So I'm a little bit loath to uh, to sell 10 years here. Boons, we tried to sell it yesterday. It was a botch. Uh, we sold 74s. We scratched it down to 43. Pretty bearish bar. Um, I'm wondering if wondering if we're going to see 74 again, or I wonder if we're going to see 48 basis points again, uh, minus 48 again. We'll have to see. Gold smashed um, gold looks a bit crowded uh, looks a bit fuzzy I could see some more uh, more squeezing to the downside and long is going to get squeezed out here there's definitely going to be a risk below 1530 that stuff looks like it's in trouble um, even though I am risk off, I, I certainly don't think gold is the is is the right vehicle for risk off. Um, if you want risk off, buy Bitcoin. Uh, speaking of Bitcoin, we talked about collection down there at 8,400. Uh, we're going to get through 10,000 eventually. Now we're going to consolidate a little bit. If you missed 8,400s, try and grab some at 9,000. Uh, we do like Bitcoin higher. Um, stocks we talked about not much else today let's uh, take a look at the calendar for the US obviously we have the uh, PMIs today we have retail sales also out of Europe um, mortgage applications out of the US nobody cares uh, trade balance out of Canada that'll be interesting and we have services PMI, but the final version. Oh, we have ISM. ISM today in the U.S., so that'll be slightly interesting. Um, at 4 p.m. Swiss time. So, anyway, we'll be watching this uh, sterling over the numbers. Uh, we'll be looking to sell dollar yen up towards 70, uh, and also looking to fade stocks. Uh, but in a very sort of light and flexible way uh, up between say uh, 98 and 08 today that's all I got a little bit subdued uh, yesterday took me by surprise and we'll just see what today brings good luck out there people I'll talk to you tomorrow see ya